Hi everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Um, on this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you some super cute ideas of things that you can do with rolling pins. I'm gonna um, show you some that I've made in the past. One is really unusual. I'm gonna talk about the ones that I would not do anything to, tell you where I get them, and then we're gonna do two of them that are patriotic, so it's awesome. I um, I can't wait to show you. Anyway, so as you're hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you have questions along the way. Um, feel free to sprinkle, all that kind of jazz. So um, let's see. And the products that I'm using today came from, uh, a make, from, no, sorry, came from Magnolia Design Company and my local Goodwill and a few here and there from Walmart, I think. Okay, so um, if you've been watching DIY Dreaming for very long, you know that I have a complete thing for rolling pins. And I'm a thrifter, I love to go to thrift stores. The rolling pin section is one of the first places I go when I get to the thrift store, whether it's Goodwill or Savers in Boise, Idaho, or whatever it is. I also look for them at garage sales. Um, oh gosh, I'm seeing a lot of people hop on. Thank you guys for watching. Um, okay, so, and I've, I've picked up a lot of rolling pins for two or three dollars in the last two years. Um, the ones that I would not, let's start with that, that I would not paint or decorate or do anything really to are the ones that look old. Like, look at this one. I mean, I have no idea how old it is, but it's lovely the way it is. Uh, I just cleaned it up. I probably will put some wax or something on it, um, but I'm not gonna mess with that. Here's another one that I showed this on another live and a couple people told me that their mothers had this rolling pin when they were little girls and that they used to put some kind of like a rubber band or something in these grooves here. And that would help determine how high the rolling pin would sit and how thick whatever the cookies or whatever you were making with it. So these are two that I picked up that I'm not planning to do anything with. Let me give you a little sneak peek of one of the ones that we're gonna do today and then I'll show you the rest of this. Oh my gosh, and this turned out so cute. So I'll, um, I'll, I'll show you the whole thing at the very end, but look. What do you think? Is that the cutest thing ever? Okay, stay till the very end and I'll tell you all about that. We're gonna be working on this one in a little bit. And um, I'm late coming on today because I had some technical issues. And sometimes it's good when I have big goofs because I can share it with you and then you don't have to make the same, same mistake. Anyways, hey Bev, hi Martha, hi Penny, hi Liz, hi Deborah. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Brian and Renee. I'm guessing it's Renee, not Brian. Lynn, Faye, there's lots of you guys on. Debbie, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Okay, so, um, so over the years, I've been doing a lot of projects with rolling pins, and these were the first two that I did, ever. I painted these and stenciled them, and then I tied um, some jute around the handles and glued a, a black and white bow on it. That was one. This, this is from a different company, this stencil. Um, it's from that other company that I represent. But it reminds me of the Ray Dunn pottery. And here's the other one that I made at the same time. It says blessed. What I want you to notice here is how I hung them. Because a lot of times the issue with rolling pins is how are you gonna display them? The ones that we're making today are gonna to go on my mantle. Okay, so those are two. Then I made this one, which is very similar idea. Um, I just left the wood of the rolling pin dark and I stenciled in a lighter color, also from that other company that I represent. Don't wanna get those mixed up. Um, then here's another one that I did not too long ago that is a planer. It's also from that other company. Here's 
one that I absolutely love. And this one I just hung. Okay, and then here's one more. So, there's lots of things you can do with painting and decorating them. Um, then about maybe, I don't know, two months ago, we did kind of an interesting thing, which was like we created our own block prints. And this was a rolling pin that um, I put a piece of paper on so I wouldn't ruin it. And then we glued some little pieces of foam on there and we rolled, we put the paint on it and we rolled it out on sheets of paper. And that was kind of a fun project. I'll probably take this apart soon so that I can use this one for uh, another craft project. And then today, while I was at Target getting some groceries, I had to run through the dollar section, of course. I mean, it's required. And I picked up this for $3. It's a little, um, they have a section with uh, like making pasta, homemade pasta or something. So it's supposed to be able to roll out um, spaghetti or, or linguine or so, some kind of pasta. Anyways, I don't think I'll really use it for that. I'll probably decorate it somehow because it's kind of really interesting shape. And it'll probably be going with the um, 4th of July stuff that I have. So, okay, so let's go to our project. All right, um, so I'll tell you all about this one and how I made it and then we're gonna make one. Okay, for this project right here, I painted this white. It's just white craft paint, okay? Then I used some um, wax over the top of it because when I was fiddling around with the blue one, I had a big disaster. I didn't wax it and it had been newly painted and the stencil that I was using pulled up, pulled off a lot of the paint off of this one. So that's why I'm so late coming back because I had to get it sanded, repaint it, let it dry, but it was a good lesson. Number one, I didn't fuzz my stencil enough and these, these stencils from Maker Stu from, excuse me, from Magnolia Design Company, they're so sticky you got to really thoroughly fuzz them, especially when you're going to use them on something like this, okay? So I waxed it. I just put a little wax on with a cloth and, and rubbed it on, and then I really fuzzed my stencil, okay? And then we're going to actually do one, so stay with me to the very end. Okay, so then I just, I knew that I couldn't use this whole entire stencil on here because it's too big. So I had to pick out what parts I wanted to use. And I decided basically just to use the center and to not use these two ends. And to not use this top part, okay? So it says, USA Family, 4th of July, and then over here it has red, white, and blue, and then it says celebrate and friends. And I just used, I just put my stencil on my rolling pin after it was thoroughly fuzzed and after I waxed it and, you know, buffed that. And I used um, this red, it's called Old Glory Red. It's from Magnolia Design Company. It's an awesome color. I used this and one of their little squeegees and I put, just pushed the chalk paste through the holes on the stencil, pulled it up, and then, this is a trick, then I just used one of my tubs that I usually wash my stencils out in. I have like four or five of these and they all look terrible because I use them. They're from Dollar Tree, they were $1. And then I just put my um, rolling pin, kitty corner or catty corner, or however you say that, in my rolling pin, in my um, little tub so that it could dry and I didn't, wasn't gonna mess up my stencil. And that's it, super easy. Um, I love this stencil. I'm gonna do some t-shirts and some tea towels and all kinds of other projects with this one. It's super cute. It's called one of those tiles, which means it's just filled up with a whole bunch of words on a certain 
topic, and the topic here is 4th of July. Okay, and in case you're thinking, um, where can I get that stencil? Um, you can get it online at my website. Uh, I'm a uh, creator with the company, and I have a website, and my website is um, magnoliadiy.com. So it's all smushed together, just magnolia, D-I-Y, like D-I-Y dreaming, dot com. And I'll drop some links. Oh my goodness, it's storming in Atlanta. Did you guys hear that? Crack of thunder. Wow. Um, I'll drop some links, and if you want links, let me know. And um, thank you, Louise, for sprinkling. I appreciate that. Okay, so this was one tip, this thing. All right, now let's do the other project that I have. So I painted this twice because the first time I didn't fuzz my stencil good enough and I should have probably waxed it before I put the stencil on. So it really pulled the paint up in just different little areas. So I repainted it and put it in my little tub so it could dry when the paint was wet. And um, then I waxed it, and we are going to use a different stencil, but it's also 4th of July themed. And I am just in process of taking my mantle and turning it from just blue and white into blue and white and red for 4th of July. And then as soon as 4th of July is over, I'll just take the red out of there and the specific 4th of July stuff, and we'll go back to my blue and white theme that I've been talking about forever. Lynn, I'll definitely get you the links as soon as I get off. Yeah, and if you guys do want to order, um, I would appreciate it if you do use my website because I make a little percentage of whatever orders go into that company through my website. And that's how I support my crafting. And um, anyways, I'd appreciate it. And let me know if you think you are going to order or if you did so I can check on that for you. Because recently I've had a few people who are not good with technology, just like me, I'm the worst, and they didn't finish their order. They thought it was all submitted and they were waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And um, if I had known, I could have just checked and then given them a call and said, you just need to push the submit button. So anyways, let me know in the comments if you're planning to order or if you did order and I'll check on your order to make sure it was good. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Quit yakking, Heidi. This stencil I've used um, quite a few times. That's why it looks kind of stained, but it's still awesome. It says, Family, Faith, Freedom. And we're going to use all three of those words on this blue one, and we're going to do it in white chalk paste from Magnolia. Okay, so I'm not going to make the same mistake again. I'm going to make sure I thoroughly fuzz it. And um, this is what I'm using. It's from the Dollar Tree. You want a, some kind of a cloth that is, doesn't have a ton of lint on it. And Magnolia Design Company just came out with their own little, they call it a tacky cloth or something. It's green. It's this green color. And I've ordered mine. I'm waiting for it to come. But that's what I'll be fuzzing my stencils with in the future because it's specifically made for that. And also, it's made... Um, for you to be able to wash your stencils and then to pat them dry inside of it so you don't have to leave them on the counter face up to dry. Awesome, I can't wait. Okay, so I'm gonna just be super careful. That was three times. I'm gonna do it one more. I was so upset earlier when I saw what happened because it was really bad. And uh, yeah, I had plans to come live a lot earlier in the day, but then, you know, didn't work out. Okay, I'm just looking to kind of see if I have this on straight. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I don't want it completely wonky. Okay, I think that's pretty straight. So I'm just going to wind the stencil around the barrel of my rolling pin. And I'm pushing it down as I go along. And we're not going to do the stars or the lines that are at the bottom. 
And we're also not going to do all this fireworks or whatever these shooting stars are off to the side because we don't really have enough room. We will do the hearts and all the words, okay? So I have this one little bit left over that I'm just leaving flapping in the wind, okay? And now I'm going to get one of my little squeegees. What do you guys think about this project? You ordered and have received your stuff. You hope it was through me. Oh, that's sweet of you, Catherine. I hope so too. I can look actually when I get off and I'll send you a message. Um, anyways. Okay, so we're using this white chalk paste, which I checked online and as of today, they, uh, Magnolia Design Company has both of these colors and I think they have both of these stencils in too. They're getting stuff in every day. Okay, I'm just gonna take a couple big blobs of this and we'll start on one side. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? I think you can. I'm literally just pushing it through the holes on the stencil. Super easy. So do you guys have plans for 4th of July yet? We were just talking about it, my husband and I. We're, it's going to be weird this year, don't you think? I mean, we probably won't go to see fireworks. I don't know. Maybe we'll have some close family friends over for an outdoor barbecue or something. I'm not just not sure what it's going to be like this year. Okay, I'm going to get my little bucket and set it in here because I need to get some more chalk paste. And maybe I'll do it while it's actually in here. Hopefully this won't be a huge fail. Oh my gosh, I would have been so embarrassed if I had had this huge fail in front of you guys earlier today. Because for one thing, I could hardly get the stencil off. It was stuck on there so strong. Oh, maybe we will do those. Um, those shooting stars in that spot because there's room for that. Once I get it through the holes, then I'm going to like pull off the super thick parts, but I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. Because the thing is, when you keep going over and over and over your stencil area, that's when you really are at risk of pushing the medium, which in this case it's chalk paste, through the holes in your stencil. So I'm just taking off the big chunky spots. Okay, so this is what we have. All right. Please be good. <gasps> it looks awesome. Well, not completely awesome, but pretty darn good. Yay! And it didn't pull off any of my paint. Let me throw this in my little tub of water. I have waiting right over here. And I need a paper towel to get this off my fingers, and then I'll show you what we've got here. And then I'll show you how I'm planning to dress it up. Um, I'm just going to use these um, bandanas that I bought at Target. We'll tear them and tie them on. Okay, here we go. Faith, family, and freedom. And the only thing I'm fussing about is kind of on that O and the D. There's kind of some little blobs there. And then my chalk was kind of thick at the bottom of the word family. But I don't think you'll ever notice and these two are going to be so cute together. I'm going to do a third something. I'm not sure what uh, just yet, but it'll probably be, you know, in the red, white, and blue category because I, I like to put objects in odd numbers. Uh, like, well, you all know that because you're all crafty and probably good decorators and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, so yes, you can use regular acrylic paint with the stencil, but let me give you this little tip. It dries super fast, acrylic paint does. And um, the 
you're gonna have to move really fast and then get your stencils washed right away because you don't want that paint drying inside the holes in the stencil. But I just used acrylic paint to paint the, the barrel of these. Um, so you could definitely do that. And then I just used chalk paste on the stencil. Um, let's see what other questions do we have. Penny says she doesn't notice my little uh, flubs. That's so cute. Do I sell the items that I make? No, I generally don't. I do give them away, and um, but I'm messy, and so I just, I don't feel like my crafts are neat enough to actually sell them or anything. And sometimes I like to, like I did baseballs last year. I painted them with um, red, white, and blue and put stars on them. They were super cute. And so I, I like to be able to pull them out again. And so I have a whole closet filled with craft projects. When it dries, take a toothpick and clean up the edges that bother you. It looks super cute. That is such a great tip. Thank you, Paula. You know, I learned another thing that I shared yesterday, which is, I'll just try to describe it for you. Um, after you've washed your stencil and it's dry, sometimes it's hard to get the two pieces back together, the stencil with the little backing paper. And I was always trying to lay my stencil, you know, right on top of the backing paper and get it on there. And it was hard. It, you'd be off, you know, off a little bit. It was hard. Well, I saw another, um, a, another creator um, who she put the stencil down with the sticky side up and then she laid the backing paper on top of it. And I tried it and you guys, it's so much easier. So, tell me about the wax. Okay, well I used, um, you can use any kind of wax. I just used this wax, which is from another company. It's just clear. Um, you can get this kind of stuff at the hardware store. Or if you want to know about that, you can send me a PM and I'll, I'll be glad to get back to you. I don't like to mix up the two companies that I represent. Actually, it's I represent more than just two, but I don't like to get them mixed up in the same uh, video tutorial. Let's see, are you going to put a bow or something on them? Well, I have a bow on this one. And yes, I'm planning to do something on this one. The same ideas, I just have to wait for this to dry so that I don't smudge it when I'm fiddling around with my bow. Let me show you how I tore that though. That's a good. Okay, so these were larger bandanas. Let's see, where are my scissors? Um, yeah, they were, you know, full on bandanas. They were a dollar at Target in that do dollar section. And they still have some of them because when I was at Target um, today getting groceries, I saw them. So all I do is just cut a little snip where you want it and then tear it. And it gives you this, sometimes you get like a little snag which you can just push back out, but it gives you this frayed edge and I really love that look. Plus it's easier than trying to cut and generally if the fabric is runs straight whatever that word is in the sewing world, I don't know, um, then you'll be able to tear a straight line. And this works with drop cloth too. So I'm planning to use something like this. I have a few others that I got at um, Target the same day. So let me know if you want links for any of the paste or stencils or little squeegee things. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to sprinkle. I will get pictures taken of these this evening and I'll share pictures here and also just on my page. And um, then I have some good craft projects lined up for tomorrow morning that I can't wait to show you. So let me ask you this. Have you, have you liked and followed DIY Dreaming yet? Um, I know I've sent invitations to virtually everyone who's ever liked a post before, but have you liked and followed my page yet and turned on your notifications? It's all up here. If you see a thumb there, it means you haven't done that yet. Um, you can just like and follow and then turn on the notifications and then you'll get notice whenever I go live and you won't, 
you won't miss me. Even if you weren't available, you'll get notice so you can watch something that I did on replay. Last, if you do any of these kind of projects with rolling pins, I would love to see pictures. And I set up that group just for that purpose. It's called Dreamy DIY. It's a Facebook group, a crafting group that I set up on Facebook um, that with the idea that I post my pictures of craft projects over there, you guys post your pictures of what you do, and then we all get more ideas. And also we can, you know, cheer each other on and encourage each other. So if you want to hop over to Dreamy DIY, uh, I think there is a space. So it's Dreamy DIY and ask to join, I'll approve you. The only thing about that other group though is that I'd ask that you don't share other crafters videos there because they have their own space. And um, people ask me questions about what other crafters did that I have no idea. So don't share anyone else's um, videos there. And um, don't use that uh, group to try to sell whatever it is that you might um, do. Um, jewelry, paint, wreaths, you know, other chalk products, that kind of thing. So anyways, but I so encourage you to get over there and just click on the photo button and start looking and you are going to be amazed. If you like the, the fabric flowers that we've been making, you will absolutely go crazy when you get over there because there's, there's like 6,000 people in that group already and there's probably at least 6,000 photos over there of great craft projects. So anyways, that's enough from me. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you again tomorrow morning. I may share tonight an oldie but goodie video, maybe of those baseballs again. So if you're in the mood for patriotic stuff, I may show that, I may um, reshare that video that I did last summer. Would you guys like that? I think that would be good. Let's see. Okay, and one last thing. If you want any of these um, stencils or chalk paste, my website is dreamydiy.com. All smushed together. Okay, bye guys. Thanks for watching.